Coomcast, episode 15, the Coomining. I really, I didn't think we were going to do this again. I was kind of excited about it. I was like, thank God. Well, I figured we just got to do maybe like, I think we're four or five episodes away from being like the next Nelk Boys. So that's what I'm hoping. Yeah. That's the plan. I love the Nelk Boys. I just, we just keep doing this and then we come out with horny mom wine coolers. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then we make $80 million a month and we, uh, I wear, I, and then I buy eight Richard, Richard Mills, you know? And you wear them in a necklace like Steve, yeah. like Steve will do it. There. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's all. That'd be cool. I'd like that. <clears throat> Can I just, I've been thinking about something. Can I, can I just, I got to get something out off my chest. Okay. Mercedes-Benz AMGs are absolutely terrible road cars. I don't want to, if you're an AMG fan, I'm sorry, but it's bad. They're, they're unrefined and they're trash. All right. I've been thinking about this for days and this is the only platform I have in my life. Yeah. Is this very, very tiny podcast that we do whenever we feel like it. And I am on the verge of doing, of harming myself because of the way this car drives. Right before we started, I saw this guy's account on TikTok popped up who's like an AMG guy. Yeah. And like, you know, you guys have seen probably like the accounts where it's like they guys have one car, they make, they post three videos a day about it. They do all the like meme music things with it. They yell at other car drivers about how their car's faster and cooler. And it just, if you're that kind of person, just, I don't care what car you have. If you have one car and you're doing that, I know you live in poverty. You are poor, and it's disgusting. Please stop doing that. Please stop it. What if it's this a- guy's got an S sixty five AMG, yeah, okay. big body, V twelve sedan, and it's like you are poor. This man it lives in poverty. Yeah, it's disgusting. I hope he watches. He wrapped, and it's not. It's emerald green, but it's wrapped. It's he, not even the real green. Oh, it's he's like posting videos about like I just saw like he blacked out the inside of his headlights, and just know you're going to get water in there, dude. You're going to get water in your headlights. It's going to get fogged up. I don't care what your guy said. It's going to look gross in six months. This is the kind of stuff that, and he's like talking, like and he, I, his video popped up where it was like another one where it was just like, you know, some kind of stupid anime music or some bullshit. And being yeah, like, like Goku. Oh, don't, if you try to race me, just know I might weigh 5,000 pounds, but, and he shows a picture of, of a Pagani because Paganis have AMG engines in them. Yeah, but they weigh like, 2,000 pounds. And it's just like, bro, please, dude, you're like 35 years old, dude. Please do something else with your time again. Please buy a house. You, 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 he lives in New York. He's got like a little... Oh, God. Park, you park your AMG on... You park your S65 on the street, dude. That's disgusting. It's sad. I care about you. I think your car looks nice. Just... I say don't change it. Get your priorities together. <laughs> Fucking, what are you doing? Keep living your you're dream. yelling at BMW drivers who are kids on TikTok about how your fucking 5,000 pound boat car is. F- I, I hate cars. I, the cult, our car, car community, it's AIDS. It's a nightmare. It's disgusting. I don't want to, I don't want to show you guys my cars. I want to drive my cars and almost crash them and, and live in peace. Done. That's the, that's the bomber. It's been a pleasure, folks. <laughs> It's all over. I didn't realize I was going to awaken this this titan of rage in you by by shit talking AMGs. Yeah, but well, AMGs in general are kind of pieces of shit. They thank sound you. good. They're cool. I, if you want a good AMG, you got to spend at least a couple hundred thousand dollars. You got to get G wagon. Yeah, I'm least. sure that probably the S65 is probably dope. Yeah, AMG GT is probably probably good. You know, I like my G wagon. It's a really cool car. It's also kind of a piece of shit, but it's it's good. I, you know, it's got a good transmission at least. That sounds good. Yeah. And it looks cool. That's you can't a, have everything. You, you no. can't, you can't have, it's a, just, you can't have everything. It's just because we went. Your car is gay. Yeah, it's not, it's not great. It looks cool. It looks super it look, dope. I mean, your car, it looks good. C63S, it looks good. It sounds good. Transmission's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it, it's kind of fast. It's probably really not as fast as it should be. Yeah, because it's not a good car. <laughs> It's good. It's it. It's good for two things: sounding good and looking good. Yeah, the two things that yeah. kind of matter and, a little bit. And I just want to say too to the car community: BMW drivers are absolutely nightmarish AIDS people, and I hate all of you. Yes, but we are. At the same time, modern BMWs drive better than 
anything besides Porsches and supercars. Yes. They do. BMWs are better. BMWs are faster. I, you know, I, I just got a new GT3. Most BMWs could probably be, are faster than it, to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also because BMW but drivers. I do hate you. Just know that I hate you and I, you're disgusting. Well, because BMW drivers have no will to live. <laughs> so they're actively reckless. That's yeah. the thing. You get, you, the thing is you get in that car, man, and you feel the big, thick, girthy steering wheel. And you see that gorgeous roundel in front of you, BMW on it, black man winning. And you're like, I'm going to commit vehicular violence today. <laughs> you can't help it. You know, because we were we were driving home from when you picked up the GT3 and you had a guy in a, a heavily modified M4, an older M4, yeah, 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 like yeah. a 2018, just on your ass on the highway, yeah, yeah, bro. Like two centimeters off my bumper. Doing like, doing like 120, 130. Yeah, yeah. I was all for it. And he was, was just all for it. And in heavy traffic, too. Yeah, like gross South Florida, 12 p.m. on yeah. a Tuesday. And I almost crashed. I almost crashed to the GT3 like twice on the way home at leaving the dealership because of this guy because I was trying to race this guy. And a truck like merged into me, didn't see me, almost merged into me. And then yeah. a couple other, like a Lexus fucking sedan almost ran me off the road. Well, it was good. But I did kind of beat him a little bit, but I mean, maybe by like a car length. You know why? Because he didn't care. Yeah. You cared about no, your, yeah. your life and your nice no, thing. No, any cars that I'm driving, the supercars or whatever, most people, I, if I race on the road with people, it's nine times out of 10 is a BMW driver. Yeah. And their cars usually... Almost as fast as mine, or faster. Yeah, than like super and, it's, cars. and it costs like forty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, and it's probably salvage. Yeah, yeah. God bless them. Because I mean, we 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 test because that's the thing. BMW drivers will. I mean, they are so reckless. It's. I mean, it's you know, it's something. It's crazy to see. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, we we test drove that M three. We had don't four run people. anything anytime anywhere. You're right. We will. <laughs> that's the whole point of being a BMW driver. That's what they. It's the ultimate no driving fear. machine. Yeah. Kings of the road. Yeah. Kings. Yeah. Yeah, because we test drove that M3, and all four of us, including the sales guy, were in the car, and it was rear wheel drive on Pirellis. Yeah. And dude, it was that is the best driving car I've ever driven. I had a Supra Porsche, the Cayman. It and felt it, fast as shit. Yeah, it, it was, really did. I was afraid. I, I feared for my life a little bit. Good. To be honest. See, so you had the BMW experience yeah. as a passenger, though. Yeah. But like that, legit was the best driving car I've ever driven. Like it was just so. But good. also for the record. The new M3s and M4s still look disgusting. Yeah. Well, you make a trade-off. You get good driving, bad look. Yeah. That's that's the... Now, if you do some weird autistic, you put the new grill thing. I, like, I've seen some on my social media that look okay, look kind of cool, but they do drive great. I haven't driven one, but just, you know, they seem like they drive great. Another bomber coming over to... Yeah. You can't really hear this, though, on the fucking... No, not really. Unless it's, like, super close. Unless they buzz by the house, which they like to do sometimes. <laughs> which they, they will. They will they do a fly. The CIA. Yeah, they they're checking do. up on us. Yeah, they're making sure you're you're obeying the law. Yeah. You're, you're enforcing the programming. Why is Jacob Rothschild paying people to not watch this podcast? I don't know. I'll have to send... I'll send an email. <laughs> because if he wasn't paying so many people to not watch the podcast, we'd be getting a couple million views a week, probably. Oh, yeah, an hour. Yeah. I mean, probably a million views an hour at least. We'd be like Mr. Beast. Oh, man. You know? Dude, this... how do normal people... Ooh, is there a domestic... We're hearing a domestic... Like there's a domestic dispute next, next door. door. That's normal Airbnb stuff. How do normal people do podcasts? Yeah, man. I don't know. You just have to like... You have to really like it. Or you have to make it about, like, something you really like, like knitting or D&D or yeah. World War II history or something I, I'm, not, I'm not kidding that's what you have to do is you have to make it about like i don't know the history of like super mario speed running and you just spend a hundred hours talking about that for like a year and it gets like a thousand views and you're like the content was great the people just were not ready for this and that's you know that's fine people aren't ready for this because this is essentially a podcast about nothing is we're supposed to feel like we're your friends because we are and you get and you get to sit there and and eat like some some like Kraft mac and cheese while we talk about yeah. heinous BMW drivers and how AMG it should be illegal for Mercedes Benz to make vehicles. And you get to hear the couple next door fight over who knows what. Probably yeah, there's definitely a domestic dispute going on. Probably the fact that the the bathroom renovation is not going as good as it should. There's this there's this house like two houses down from me where it's like it seems like it's an Airbnb party house. It was on the market for a couple of years. Like it was on the market before I moved in to this place. It's a big house. It's nice, but it's too close to the main road, and it's the backyard's empty. It's not landscaped properly. But now there's like huge parties at it every other weekend or so, and it's you know you smell a lot of weedlers attend these parties. You smell a lot of weed in the air. Police show up sometimes, and then the neighbors put signs like 
on their properties, like next to this Airbnb big house that say like Airbnb is not welcome. <laughs> Neib- <laughs> neighborhoods are for neighbors. <laughs> that's, that's great. I, I respect that dude. Yeah. But yeah, no, you'll see like Karen sometimes. Like we drove at night one time. There was just a Karen like videotaping all the like eight different, yeah. or, like like 20 cars that were parked around the house and the, She's getting that. She's getting ammunition. I'll be honest. I almost called the cops a couple times on them, but I didn't. But I may in the future, to be honest. I wouldn't blame you. They're loud, bro. Because it's like yeah, we were here gets, one night and they were screaming and they were yeah, just a big go, dude. One time, one time it was there. like nine in the morning. It was legit. I woke up in the morning on like Sunday morning and it was like dude, was music and part like people were smoking <laughs> hey, crack and hey out. man, the part doesn't stop just because you're going to sleep. But at least like you know, it's like a house. I'm a house removed from it, so it's not too bad. Yeah, I couldn't imagine being like. And right then sometimes next door. it'll be like two or three weeks and there's nobody there, but. Then it'll be a few days in a row where it's just, you know, it's, it's party zone, party yeah. time. I'm just like, dude, I just don't understand who's renting. It's people on vacation in Miami. I get, I don't know. People trying to be fake rappers or something. It's just because it's got to cost like $1,500 a night or something crazy. Probably, yeah. Which, which Save your money. No. We're not going to do that. I've been the one running the house and smoking crack and weed next door <laughs> this whole time for content. I'm filming my new YouTube series best Airbnb reviews where I just go to every Airbnb and I shit on the floor and then I leave and I don't pay the cleaning fee. Nice. You know, my buddy used to drive for Uber had like, he picked up a drunk person in Miami once and they vomited all over his car. And I was like, were you upset about that? he's like, no, I got a free detail. I'm like, that's the worst way to get a free detail is to have a stranger vomit all over your car. But he was, he was cool. He was very happy with it. You know, he also drove a Nissan Murano, so I don't know at the time. So I don't know how. The, I've had a lot of people tell me I sound like I'm Southern, and I don't like that. You well, you look like the um, the H three H three guy. Oh fuck! <laughs> the morbidly obese pod. You look like Ethan, Ethan Klein. Dude, someone said that, bro. That is such an insult, dude. I know. He's such a dis- disgusting troll person. Well, because he doesn't care. Because he, he, like, makes fun of people who work out. He doesn't care. He's like, yeah. I could be doing so much better things than working out, like, eating margarine out of the out of the tub. You you just need to up your seed oil intake, and you'll get there pretty quick on his yeah. level. Yeah. I'm looking forward yeah, to that. How much seed oil do you have today? A gallon. That's that <laughs> enough? Up those Two numbers. gallons. Two gallons a day. Oh, fuck. Yeah. How much Red 40? You need some Red 40. I, I normally have like six or seven bottles worth. Okay, is that enough? That's, that's pretty good. It's a good start. Ten. I think I'm. I think I have a lump on my neck. But how's your microplastic intake? Not high enough. I just saw like a TikTok before we started too. That's like Sam Hyde talking about how like everybody needs to be on TRT because oh, I saw that too. Of the yeah. seed oils and the microplastics. And that's this. good. He's fat still, Sam. You're just fat, and you have an old car. <laughs> you have a disgusting old Porsche. I know it rattles when you get inside. Buy a nice car. Mm. Yeah. Where's your money at? What? He doesn't. He's on Gum Road, bro. We're gonna pee on Gum Road soon. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Honestly, we probably make more money on Gum Road than we do, and we're ever gonna make on YouTube. Yeah. So it's fine. Yeah. But yeah, but someone in the comments said it's only cool to have an old, like an old GT or the rest, if you also have like other cool a shit. new, yeah, other cool cars, something cool. Yeah. Someone in the comments said, "Hey, Alex, love the podcast, and also your wish, Pete Davidson." He called me a wish.com Pete Davidson, which I thought you was or good. me. Me. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I can kind of see that. Yeah. Like a me. fat, yeah. More mentally ill Pete Davidson. Yeah, it doesn't it not as funny or successful and doesn't doesn't date like all the hottest women in the world. Not as tall. Yeah, not as tall. It's kind of lives. I'm from see, he's from Staten Island. I'm from Long Island. Okay. So he's from, he might be from the better island. And that's a real he, those guys fight. Staten Island, Long Island, that's a that's a rivalry. Everyone gets real upset about it. But well, listen, I finally achieved a little bit of success in my life now that I own a 9-11. Thank God. I mean, it's been a rough... It's big things for me. It's been a rough couple of years, you not having one. Yeah. It's been... I've had to tell people that I work for someone who doesn't have a 9-11. <laughs> it's been... You know what You know, the other day, is? I thought about, like, buying back a GT4 too. Like, Jesus my GT4 Christ. that I traded in. Jesus Christ. Because I was thinking, like, I should have a manual. Because I parked, like, you know, Luke's car around the side of the... In front of the garage. Yeah. And because like in my house, I have like a big driveway, but there's trees everywhere. And if you know anything about cars, cars and trees don't mix very well. They shit all. I mean, the, the shit that will get on your car if it's under a tree is heinous. It's awful. It's heinous. You it's know? like the rain. It's like God's vengeance. Yeah, and down birds on hang you. out on them and they shit everywhere. And there's weird sap and like leaves and like debris and pollen. The, the earth it's, despises automobiles. And it should. 
fan cars. Yeah. But like, you know, I parked, but we, we moved it in front of the garage and I was like, this is a good spot. Cause really it's open. It's one spot where it's kind of open and then you got to move it if you want to take out one of the other cars from the garage. But it's like, I could just, just buy the GT4 back and just park it right in this spot. Perfect. Dude, you'd last a week doing that before uh, you'd want to blow your brains out. I don't think so. Maybe not. I think it's great. Because it's not like, you see some guys do the thing where they have the cars on the lifts in the garage. They stack them up. I could never do that because that's just such a, to go to have a hydraulic and you gotta be like, eh. yeah, no, that makes but like me. just start it up. And then two, I can be like, just row the gears for a second in the garage and then take a car that's got a good transmission. And the, <laughs> transmission, I don't have to do <laughs> That would be a, a level of automotive. Sickness. I looked at, at, at fucking GR uh, Corollas the other day. Oh Jesus, <laughs> bro! Please don't get one of those, dude. Dude, most of them are black too. The ones for sale right now. Yeah, they look gross and black. They only they come in like three colors, like black, silver, and white. But see, the the launch one was they were all in like that like gunmetal, like silver, dark silver. Yeah, that looks way better than black. Yeah, it looks a lot nicer. Yeah, but then I was like, don't, don't even try to buy the GT4. Like, let's just. Next year, six months from now, I'm add some whatever. I don't know. Some weird manual car you don't yeah. like. But I thought about just being, you know, calling, cha- you know, calling the dealer up and being like, hey, just talk to me for 120. Come on. And I'll be like, how about 132? Yeah. How about 148? You really <laughs> want it? You really want it back? I had a great time buying my GT3 from a drunken car salesman named Paul. He was, he literally said he drank like four or five glasses of wine every day at lunch. Average portion. And he like poked me in the, chest a couple times yeah and yelled at a big you know he's fat and red face and like you, you know, better buy this fucking car <laughs> you pig and i'm just like please i like the car just go, you just gotta give me a fair trade for the just no <laughs> and i was like paul i don't want to be here i hate this i wish i didn't like cars but i know what you people do i know you're criminals it's fine please and he i mean he was about to tell me to fuck off a couple times he did not care yeah because this is a big porsche dealer it, the gt3 that i bought was a beautiful spec yeah it was not gonna have a hard time selling so I had to humble myself a little bit and let Paul breathe his gross wine breath on me and poke me a little bit and call me a fat pig and tell you to open your own car dealer. Yeah, several he told times. Me that, yeah, yeah. This guy is just like, oh, you think it's easy to make money? It's car dealer. You open your own dealership. And I was like, Paul, I know guys that own car dealerships. They're like La Ferrari owners. <laughs> they have like fifty million dollar car. La Ferrari Apertos. Yes. Guys that own car dealerships never let any car dealers ever tell you that the guys, who, the owners of car dealerships. Literally are all worth like two hundred million dollars plus. Yeah. They're worth they're worth hundreds of millions of dollars. Yeah. They're so insanely God wealthy. God bless them. Yeah. God bless them, but like they are not struggling. No. It's a level of wealth on Yeah, we'll never yeah, we'll yeah, no, never it, it's it's almost hard to fathom. Yeah. And it's solely built off of I'm stealing a little, from I'm people. A little, little multi bugman being like looking at the La Ferrari fucking Bugatti owners, just just begging to just get an extra couple grand on my trade. Yeah. Just shitting and pissing You're, and crying myself. No, nothing we can do. The child I work for, he doesn't want to go up. Yeah, the boss, he, the boss has got a new Jesco coming in in a couple months. You gotta sorry. We gotta give you we hey, gotta make we gotta make thirty thousand dollars on your deal. Do you know how deal. much it costs to fuel a, a three hundred foot yacht? You think it's cheap? You think it's free? They just give you the marine fuel for that? Yeah. It's expensive. Literally everyone who owns a big car dealership owns yachts and has uh, and hypercars, multiple hypercars. Yeah. I, yeah. Don't let anybody lie to you and say they all do. Yeah. I mean, maybe Bob's Bob's discount, you know, good cars where he's got like 18, like, you know, shitters on the lot. Yeah, he's probably struggling. But like if if you own like a Lexus dealership, if you own like a BMW dealership or a Toyota you're worth or like anything, two hundred million dollars. Yeah, you can buy other people. Yes, that's how sick and they it is. do. And no, they yeah. fine. I can't. I'm not at that level yet. Yeah, no, I hate cars so much. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> cars are so stupid. Dude, It was it was so great, man. When me and me and Luke went over to this like Skaven independent dealer, just it reeked a weed yeah. inside. Oh, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> it's just a big, like just a big, like painted white inside, painted white warehouse space, cavernous. Yeah, and you like the the the, the artwork that had on the walls. What kind of artwork? Did, oh did God, you just just like, uh, like multicolor prints of the Joker, Heath Ledger's Joker, smoking cigars, weird like. A, a, just a, a a portrait of lips, a biting lips, lips <laughs> like biting, uh, just like, just so, uh, just so like, like dystopian Wolf of Wall and Street uh, posters and stuff, like the cringiest <laughs> kind of, re- like so so absolutely peak Reddit yeah. tier kind of like, 
if if I couldn't imagine walking into someone's home and seeing a piece like that, like where else, where else could they be besides like a Skaven Serbian dealer? Yeah. Like it just, there, there, there's no other place you could put them. Yeah. And then I spent 45 minutes, uh, air quotes, negotiating with uh, the guy on my, and as he's trying to explain <laughs> to me how they need to make money and how like they, they only try to make four to $5,000 on a car <laughs> and they're trying to, steal my car for me so they can make fifteen thousand dollars. Yeah, which is like it's like that's like the oldest lie in the book. It's, it's like, like fucking, it's yeah. like it's they're a tiny independent dealer. What are they supposed to do? 5, Nick, 000, what are they supposed to do? Five thousand dollars is gonna break our business. They're going everything's going down and nothing's moving for them. They yeah. don't make any money. You know, because he, he, he still he, had your car, right? Yeah. The one of the last one. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because he you know he like he's telling me like you know we price everything low your car is only going to go for 77, 78. I'm like, they're listed for 80 everywhere. Hey, and guys, just know that when we open our own car dealership, this was all an act mm. and that we are honest businessmen. Okay? Yeah, yeah, we're definitely. But until that time, and we were worth 50, $500 million. Yeah. Car salesmen, car dealers are evil and should be banned by the government. Exactly. No, 100%. That's why I like what 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 Tesla did with cutting them out. Yeah. And they were, that is cool. yeah, that's the coolest great. part about Tesla yeah. is yeah. that like, they don't have any of that shit. Yeah. That's why they were, the dealers were seething, bro, foaming at the mouth, shitting themselves, crying, screaming. <laughs> They're like, Elon, no. And, he, and I'm, I just, man, that gets me so bricked up thinking about that. But yeah, no, I'm watching as this guy try, tries to justify giving me $10,000 less than my car's worth. I'm like, you're going to give me $60,000 for this car and you're going to sell it for seventy eight. And he's like, oh, you don't know that. You don't know that. And I'm like, what you, I'm like, what do you mean? You're Why don't you just sell it yourself, pig? Wow. And then come back and buy our car. Or put it on eBay. Yeah. That was great. When he offered, when he offered, he's like, well, if you're so confident the car is going to sell, why don't you give it to us on consignment? And, oh, pay, and pay, it's crazy. And pay us to sell it. Give us $2,000 and we'll sell the car. I'm like, if you're only making two grand, bro, you're never going to want to, you're not going to care. It's like your job, like if I do that, I'm taking away your risk and the, your job. Like, that's the whole part of the thing is like you buy the car and you have to sell it. See, legit though, like if it was price decent, like it, that w it would sell within a couple of weeks, probably. Yeah, dude. Because there's he, none of these cars, dude. If he priced it at seventy eight at seventy eight k, it would probably sell in like two three weeks, and he'd make eight thousand yeah. dollars, giving me seventy thousand for it. Yeah. But he's like, no, I can't do above sixty five. I'm like, so you're gonna sell for seventy five at least, and you're gonna make ten thousand dollars. Yeah. But you claim you only need to make two three thousand dollars on every car. That's right. Crazy. They're good Christian businessmen. And then he and he accused me of doing. He's like, "Well, you're doing our books for us." How ever? Oh, yeah. I'm just gonna let like any of the the, the 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 you know angry schizo fan base that we have, which is almost everybody probably. Just know, as far as like car dealers go, and I have to remind myself of this: as criminal and as much as you hate them, and you know that they're thieves, just know that they're even bigger thieves than. As much as you think they are, they're even worse. Yeah. They're even worse. Than you could ever fathom. Yes. Even I can fathom, they're even worse than that. Oh, yeah. That's no, I have to say about that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it, it, it's bad. It's bad. And this guy's sitting there. He's like, well, you're, you're trying to do our books for us. And I'm like, you're criminals. There's no books. <laughs> what books are there? And he's like, fake books. And then he got a little, he got a little, he got a little upset. He's like, no, well, I get mad sometimes when he's you. like, well, I just wish they would just see, I would have a much better experience. And I'd like be more willing to work with more if they just be like yeah and we, we're crooks we know and like just be a little more transparent about it yeah me too but they won't do that they just no, they want they, they just double even when you reveal obviously you know how big a criminals they are you tell them a few things that indicate that you've been through this experience before they still refuse to be honest in any capacity yeah almost ever yeah no 100 percent. it's great it's good good business i can't wait to open until we get a little money together we can open our own <laughs> yeah start ripping people off real good start stealing from families <laughs> Stealing from single mothers and fathers and, you know, people that are struggling. It's great. Because he got a little upset and he's like, well, if you're going to talk like that, we don't need to do business. And I'm like, we're not going to do business because you're trying to steal from and me. It's like I love too. Like, I'm, you know, they're giving me such a dog shit price on my trade-in for my GT4. Another Porsche. Another GT Porsche. I'm buying a GT Porsche. It's like – and there's for – it's listed at $70,000 over sticker. Yeah. That's, a, you know, a year old with 1,200 miles on it. And he's giving me a hard time about the, the amount of money I want for my trade in. Yeah. Because it's over, I'm asking for over MSRP. It's just like, dude, how are you going to talk to me about MSRP when you guys are charging $70,000 over MSRP? They don't care. Again, it comes back they to- They just pretend they don't even hear that. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> Again, Alex, you don't seem to understand the yacht doesn't fuel itself. Yeah. Okay, you don't, when you buy a mega yacht, 
It doesn't fuel. They probably made at least at least fifty thousand dollars from my completely retarded ass that deal, the, my trade, and then buying oh, that yeah. car. Fifty thousand dollars one in twenty minutes. Yeah, in twenty minutes they made fifty thousand dollars. <laughs> it's probably worse than that. Probably seventy. Most likely, yeah. yeah. I mean, they'll probably sell my GT4 for like one thirty four, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I don't want to talk about cars anymore. I'm going to get sick. I'm going to throw up. Yeah. I hate them so much. It's okay. <laughs> Puke on yourself. Vomit on, <laughs> vomit on yourself in front of the, in front of the people. <laughs> yeah, no, that's that's how it is, bro. It's like, that's the, you know, that's I why. Hope, I hope like one little car sales bugman fucking comes up like, hey, we're, we're. lie to someone else. Lie to, to yeah. single mothers. Lie to fat single mothers that have no money. Like you always do that, which is your job. Yeah. <laughs> I will, I will like, say, yeah. the dealership is very nice, very nice inside. They have a very nice gift shop. I enjoy it oh, very God. much. Oh, <laughs> God. This is the problem. I like I like I like car dealership. I, I because you don't have a problem. I know, you haven't I got like robbed to, blind yet. Like, but yeah. it's nice. Like, to go, uh, we've been robbed blind multiple times dozens, at gunpoint. Do, over a dozen. <laughs> times. I've over a I'd dozen. I'd rather times. they just pull out guns and put them in my head than the shit that they do. That's just aesthetically. Be they're, they're they're very interesting. <laughs> they're, they're very nice. You know, it feels good to walk in the one. You know, until I just, you start we just screaming pivot and the podcast into just yeah. us get so raging on on how much we hate car dealerships and car sales. I think maybe until if, maybe it gets enough traction that we're banned from buying yeah, any cars. That would be the and we could be free if we get kicked. You guys out. might get blacklisted. Yeah, if, I would love that so much. No, bro. me too. If we got, but guess what? They're crooks, so they don't. If you have money, they don't care. Yeah, they have no they, ethics or values. Yeah, they don't give a shit. <laughs> they, don't, they legit like they're like there's like a subreddit for like you know pretty much hating car salesmen and stuff and, and like. There's been a bunch of like instances of like car sales guys accidentally texting the customer instead of their manager and being like, "Yo, we totally fucked that guy." <laughs> like, just give me a little bit more, and I'm gonna fuck. I'm gonna take every. And it's just, it's bro. It, there's like multiple, <laughs> multiple instances of, of these guys doing this, and it's like, it's just a factory. It's a poison factory for making you a bad person. You, you know what I mean? It's it just is what it is, and it's like really like they've made so much money and they can lobby to keep it to keep it going. It's like, dude, it's like the guys like. Well, we're giving you sixty. We'd be giving you sixty for your car, and then with the the tax the tax credit, it's it's sixty three. And I'm like, shut up. That's fake. You, sh- you can give me more money for my car. Like just because I'm saving a little bit of money on taxes doesn't mean that's how much yeah, I'm getting for my I car. Whenever I hear the tax thing, I start I fl- fly into a rage. I just fly into a crazy rage because yeah. it's such a you know because they say these certain kinds of things to people that don't know any better, and it's yeah, it's. <laughs> I it's hate so, them so It's much. so bad. We need to do like a just an episode where we just tell people like how to buy cars and how to avoid don't, the, the nightmare. Don't Ooh, do not buy a vehicle. I know, but stay you away. Ha- you have to buy them at some point. You don't. You know, like I was talking to my, <laughs> I was talking to my other buddy, my other buddy Alex. Steal a car, change the plates, go about your business, <laughs> have a good life. That's what I recommend. I wish. Yeah, the whole thing. I was talking to my other buddy Alex, and I was you like, see "Lights behind you, trying to don't stop." <laughs> they say anything to you, say you're a sovereign citizen. So Claim your traveler. Say you're traveling. Say you're traveling. Yeah. traveling. Yeah. Maritime land, law. Land <laughs> the Maritime Act of 1816. Yeah. Because I was talking to my other buddy Alex, and he doesn't like cars at all because he's a very he's, he's a free man. And I was like, man, I fucking hate all these car dealers. And he's just like, well, don't deal with them then. And I'm like, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> you know how it is. You know what I am. And it's like, bro, because it's like, dude, if he legit would have said 70 or even 68, I would have bought that car. Right there. Yeah. But on see, the spot. But see, that's the thing that was like a lot of the really though, I'm part of the problem. Like a lot of the people on the internet, the bug people, you know, they get re- about the like markups and stuff right now. Yeah. Like it's really so people they're stupid enough to pay these markups. It's like, that's me, buddy. Sixty five K over. Okay, that's what I did. I'm a big I got a little got five K off. Okay. I'm a big idiot, but I got a good deal. <laughs> the car was already PP after, okay? I was a good <laughs> I had no choice. I saved eight thousand. They already put the fake scotch tape on my car. Yeah. I had to buy it. I had the dark silver rims. Okay, I had to. I had to get it. I, to, I need. I needed it. I need that. Well, because that's the thing. Is like even that. You want to see the portrait of somebody paying over that much? It's right here. This is what it looks like. Because even that M. Because <laughs> even that M three, bro, it was like sticker. It had eleven thousand miles. It was a twenty two. It was from Texas, and it they wanted sticker for it. It's like any like you can't. There's nothing you can do, man. It's like and as long as these guys, as long as people keep going in and pay, over, like I understand, kind of overpaying for a GT three a little bit, not as much as you did because that was heinous, but <laughs> you know, like twenty k over maybe because it's like at least, least it was a high MSRP because there's like people charging the same rate for the MSRPs on cars that were like one eighty five, yeah, and they're charging like two seventy, and that's man. at least this one was like two hundred one MSRP, yeah, and it had the carbon ceramics, carbon roof, yeah, no 
all their folding mirrors for some reason, but brokey. <laughs> brokey. <laughs> but that's the thing is like, dude, they're charging 20K over for M- But just realize like, they were the like a year ago, people were paying over 100 for this. <sighs> yeah. And a year from now, and they'll then, be paying. Yeah, they'll be, they'll be like, yeah. 20 over, yeah, 30 yeah, over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just taking that money and setting it on fire. Feels good. But it's like, dude, they're asking 20K over for M3s with the all wheel drive. And it's like, bro, when you're trying to buy an $80,000 car, 20K is a lot of money to you. Yeah. Because you know why? It's a lot of money to me. Yeah. And it's like, that's such an insane. And then guess what? You buy that car for 20K over, you go to trade it in. Oh, we'll give you 65 for it. You paid 100 for this car. You had it for a month. You put 2,000 miles on it. Oh, we'll give you 65. Yes, yeah, sorry. We still don't know how to price the car, the market, the conditions. I mean, everything. You know, it's it's a real bloodbath out here. I hate him so much. It's like, dude, I know. We, we have to keep the lights on. Yeah. We got to keep the, got to keep, you know, we got to make sure we can pay the dock, the super yacht. Yacht, but, sta- yacht staff the do bosses, not pay the, themselves. The, the they have salaries. Exposed carbon fiber, dark blue speed tails coming in next month. He's got to make sure he can pay it off in full. <laughs> dude, the, <laughs> dude uh, Stradman did a video. And he went to Lamborghini Salt Lake in Utah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just saw it. The and the guy, the, yeah. the owner was getting the owner was getting for, a, uh, the a Countach, Countach yeah. delivered, and it was a beautiful spec, yeah, well, very nice spec. Hats off to you, sir. You are a criminal with taste. Yeah. But I was just like, man, these guys just keep fucking getting away with it, bro. <laughs> they keep fucking getting away with it, man. All and see, that's the, time. the thing, though. At least like, is like you own a Lamborghini dealership. It's a little more like, oh, he's getting a three million dollar Lamborghini. Okay, he's the owner of the Lamborghini dealership. He's got money. But just know that the guys that own like Nissan dealerships. They're getting those two. Yeah. The Honda dealership, the guy owners, they're getting those two. Okay? No, even more. <laughs> they're, they're, they make more money. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, <That's... laughs> dude, I remember, dude, I remember like six years ago, a, me and a buddy of mine went to go test drive a, a Hyundai Genesis when they first came out because he wanted to get it. And Eat the Rich. I forgot to wear my. I know. What next you know? time I'm, you, I'm, you doing? I'm wearing the Eat the Rich hoodie. Okay, have. that's good. We should all get them and wear them. But I've, I've never worn this hoodie before. It says eat the rich and sparkly. It's really icy. I've never worn it in real life before because I'm scared I'll actually get eaten. Even though I have no money, okay? I don't have any money. I spend it all on cars. He's not, people, he's not lying. I want to eat real rich people yeah. who are actually harming society, my, like car dealership owners. My, the last the last check he wrote me bounced. Yep. Yeah, so it's, true. you know. It's called responsible <laughs> investing. So, you know, it's, yeah. But we went to go test drive a, a Hyundai, and that was when they were first doing the Genesis thing, test drive a Genesis. Yeah. And the, and the salesman was this big fat guy. I mean, he was like 400 pounds, slick jet black, jet black hair, slick back in a mullet. I mean, hands down, like just the, the stereotypical. A real specimen. Yeah, greasy car salesman. And like we're driving the car and he's like, yeah, man, these things, these things ride great. He's like, this thing rides better than my ghost. It's a Hyundai salesman, a guy selling Hyundai Genesis. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, bro, you have a. You, you have a Rolls Royce? And he's like, man, I've had a I've had a 488. I've had a Rolls Royce. I've had a Gallardo. I've had a Mercy. I'm like, is this your only job? He's like, yeah, I'm the number one salesman in all South Florida. <laughs> and literally the way that he would do that was he would just commit light fraud by getting you into the referral program by changing your address to claim that you were someone who already had a Genesis and you could get the discount. So this is a guy selling Hyundai's like thirty thousand dollar, forty thousand dollar cars, and he had several supercars in his life and a, a ghost, and he wasn't even a manager; he was just a sales guy. It's called it's called being successful yeah. in this country. Like when we, like when we went to the BMW dealer in Miami, and the guy's claiming they got no money, he's wearing a thirty thousand dollar AP. Yeah, <laughs> I'm getting sick. I'm getting <laughs> sick talking about this. My body is rebelling against me because we're we spent thirty minutes just absolutely schizoing out about car dealers. I know. we're 33 minutes 34 minutes into this we enjoy com- uh yeah i don't know if you're ever going to see any content like this see that's the only real like good thing about being a car youtuber is they treat you way better yeah they will yeah, fuck yeah, you yeah. way less because yeah. they know yeah. hey this guy's got a following he'll shout us out that's why like that's why we were so pissed when savage geese got his civic for msrp <laughs> they were about to burn that man at the stake yeah, yeah, yeah. i was watching like because i i saw that episode or whatever and i didn't when he when he got that and but then just the other day i started watching like their last like live stream where he's like going on like a 30 minute like apology yeah talk about him getting that type r at MS, uh, msrp because people are so mad about it it's yeah like, it, it was great watching them just, I, just be like, hey fuck you <laughs> No, you can't do that. He reviews Nissan Max, Nissans and stuff. You yeah, can't. That's yeah, your market. Yeah, yeah. You know? But yeah, no, it was great watching him be like, 
well, I know you were upset, but I don't, uh, you know, I like the car. I love, I've had 50 Hondas, which how the fuck do you have 50 Honda, bro? He's had like 18 Hey, you know what my advice is? If you want to get the new Type R, get the last gen Type R. It looks way cooler. Whoa. People are going to be upset about and that. And like, I guarantee they're going to drive the same. You think that new one's going to be that much better? They're fucking weird Asian cars. Whoa. Yo, you're can't, <laughs> yo, you're can't, yo, you're canceled. The last one, the new one looks stupid. It looks boring. The last one went full send into like, this is rice now. This is cool. Front wheel drive nightmare box machine. Get the last gen. Well, that's because they tried to copy Audi again for this gen and they want to make it look like, yeah, you know, it looks, it, lo- it looks boring. Awkward. It looks stupid. Yeah. It doesn't look good, but the interior is a lot nicer, I don't know. I don't which know. I like. It's got the digital. I'm getting a last gen type R tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> and I got my manual car. Front wheel drive. There you go. Park it right outside the garage. Block the supercars. You can't even crash because it's so slow. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to get pulled over doing fucking like 80 and a 45 and I'm going to get shot in the head. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then you should be. That's yeah. fine. You know? I don't know. I just like... Because even... Because dude, I mean, I ran into... See, the thing is like the, the, the Savage Geese guys, uh, Mark and Jack, I think those are their names. I think so, Which yeah. are the greatest car YouTubers to ever exist, they're, they, I'm a big fan. They are really great. I watch their content constantly. The only YouTube content I watch anymore is Savage Geese videos, and this guy called Saint Riot who does like Dark Souls, Elden Ring PvP. That's the and I listen to like creepy pasta stories to fall asleep and stuff and do work. So you're like the average 14 year old from yeah. Iowa. <laughs> yeah, but everything else, pretty much, I don't hardly watch anything else. That's pretty much all. Like Saint Riot and Savage Geese are like that's my okay. That's my like go to. Yeah. And I love Savage Geese, but you guys got to stop LARPing that you aren't rich. You are well, <laughs> extravagantly wealthy, okay? <laughs> Compared to your audience, guys, the Savage Geeses, you guys are extravagantly wealthy. Jack's getting a fucking Z06. Mark, you have like eight cars, okay? So just st- you have an X7 and a fucking Type R and an LC500 and a, like... Stop pretending to not have money. Yeah, it's we don't like that. We yeah. know you have money. You need to tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, tell us about it right now. How much? What's in your bank account? Yeah. How big is your bank? Do you is your house bigger than mine? No, I mean they they are, I, yeah, but I think Jack got like a, a kind of like a stripper spec Z06 kind of. I don't want to hear it. I know he's, he's, he's buying six figure cars. I don't. I, I don't how come hear no it. one? How come no one shit all over him for getting it an MSRP? For getting the Z06 at MSRP? Well. If they make a video and he's getting it like delivered or whatever, they'll probably get mad about it. Yeah. Maybe. I just want to see. You know why? You know why? Because that's out of the price range of 98% of their audience. Yeah. So they can't even get. Yeah. Because if if 98% of the the audience of Savage Geese, if they could or had the opportunity to buy a Z06 at sticker, they could not afford it. Yeah. But what's the sticker for like 40 or something for the Type R? Like 42 or some shit? I think like 45 or 50. Wow, I don't if you option it option off or something. Yeah, I think like it starts with like forty four. But like there's a decent amount, like maybe there's like thirty, forty percent of Savage Geese's audience could like Oh yeah. Could finance a fucking like forty thousand dollar car. Yeah. And they would like to. They'd like to fuck their life up by doing that. Yeah. And they should be allowed to. Yeah. But then they don't want to do it when it's sixty thousand dollars. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame them. Dude, who the fuck is paying sixty grand for a Honda? That's insane. I am. I will. <laughs> yeah, it's dude. It's it's, it's fucking crazy. It's crazy. So I like the idea though, because like that shit to me, like get, getting like a new GR or whatever, like Corolla or fucking. Yeah. I, I wouldn't get a new Type R because I think it looks disgusting and stupid. But and Toyota is a much better company in every way. Yeah. Uh, but like, I like like to me like it it it's fun like the idea of like going to a Toyota dealership and just paying like you know. 10k over 15k over for a fucking gr crawl i'm like this is great i'm, I'm walking out of there spending sixty thousand dollars i'm like on this little three-cylinder pod car really great no problem for me <laughs> you just sitting in and there's all the hard plastic can i use my debit card just, just <laughs> this should go through i don't know i just that's like, the thing with something like that though is it's like dude when am i gonna drive that dude never yeah. you're gonna drive you're gonna be like this <laughs> i'm gonna sucks. drive it to move it out of the way to take the other yeah out. you're gonna have the car for a year it's gonna have four miles on it from you just, no, maybe more than that. From you driving home, and then from you just backing in and out of the spot. Yeah. I, know, I mean, they they have all wheel drives. So they might be kind of good. They might, you know, it might be kind of torquey or whatever. And apparently, they cracked the ECU already, so you can tune it and do disgusting, heinous things to it and break it. But I, I don't know. It's just like it's a lot of money for that kind of car, man. And it's yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, it's like as someone who was a complete bug person and was making like fifty five thousand dollars a year and went out and bought 
a $55,000 Porsche, like a real sick person, that's a hard thing to do, bro. For most people, man, because most people, like, they want to have some kind of future. They want to have, like, maybe a house one day or some kids or a wife or Why? a dog or something. You don't want to just live in a, in, a, in, a, in a pod structure and park your enthusiast vehicle on the street and make TikTok videos about it every day <laughs> and, 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 and talk shit about BMW owners. You don't want to be in a constant cycle of drowning debt that's trying to drag you under the surface every single day. So it's like, you know, because not everyone's built like us. Not everyone's willing to spend legitimately almost all their money on cars yeah. and, and put their life on the line every time they walk into that car dealer. Because that's what we do. Yeah. You know what I mean? We're, we're veterans. You know what I mean? That's what this, that's what, you know, you go in there and you, and you know, the guy at the BMW dealer we got kicked out of, he texted me like after we left and he was like, Hey man, thanks for the, thanks for the, the opportunity and the show with like the laughing emoji because of the, the fucking circus we put on in there. And that all we were doing is just speaking truth to power. That's right. We weren't even doing anything wrong. We didn't even yell really. No. We didn't really even yell. I yelled at the end just because I was like, I might as well start yelling now. Yeah. You just felt, you were like, you know, yeah. I got on, I got on, you know. I hate him so much, God. Yeah, it, is, it is entertaining to watch, watch you work. Thank when you. You're, when you're interacting with a car dealer. Yeah. Uh, but I just can't imagine. Oh no, it's doing that it, it's as hellish. It's as mentally like a hobby. No, it's meant. No, it, it's the thing is the guy. Yeah, the guy. Yeah, the guy said like, "Oh, you guys must like doing this." It's like, no, we don't like doing this. We just <laughs> yeah like cars for some reason, and we wish we didn't. So we have to deal with you fucking criminals. Yeah, you scumbag criminal, low life. Also mentally challenged, most of them like yeah, low life, dirty. Use all gypsy. the use all the fucking words, baby. Get them out. Oh, watch out! I'm, I'm getting. Verging on words that I can't say. You're being, yeah, <laughs> you gotta be careful. We're, we're on YouTube. On the broadcast. Yeah, on the, on the show here. No, I mean, we were in the office with, with the, at the, at the, the private, the, and that's the thing, man. Like, don't, for a while. you can't yeah. trust any of them. Not any of them. If you're friends with one of them or whatever, hey, maybe he's kind of a nice guy that you hang out with, but don't think if you buy a car from your friend car dealer, he will fuck you even harder than, it, it's, yeah. when you start working selling cars, it's just like encoded in your DNA yeah. to literally be, the absolute like just criminal mind like just you lie they lie to their fucking mother yeah and, and steal, they'd steal money from their parents it's like joining and a, like love it yeah <laughs> and buy a new ap it's like, no it's like care. it's like joining a gang yeah you get programmed to where yeah. they're like hey hey anyone that comes in here fuck them they all. like i don't know what they do they like waterboard you like hang you upside down like fucking know. like they 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 probably brand you somewhere yeah like it's it's a legit gang it's like msr 13 being a car dealer yeah in reality, they probably could say, "Hey, you want to make some easy money?" Yeah, yeah really. People, people, people are like, "Yeah, I'd like to." And they're like, "Are you? Do you have any morals?" Not really. And it's like, oh, "Okay, hey, come here, get in here, come here." And they start kissing you on the on, on the lips, and then you're next week you're selling a a, a marked up salvage title Corolla to a, a single mama too, who thinks she's getting a great deal. She's who's already underwater on her other fucking car. She's yeah, in. and you're texting your manager, and you're like, "Dude, I got this bitch dead to rights." And the manager's like, fuck yeah, bro. As he's watching like My Little Pony videos on the fu on fucking YouTube. <laughs> you know? That's what, bro, that's what, that's 100% how that works. Like you can't, I, I've yet to meet a car dealer that I didn't feel like was completely, absolutely fucking me. Yeah, because they all, all of them. Like I've all, never, and it's like, it's, it's to the point where like I dread when I want a new car. Like, yeah. I, like I want an M3 real bad right now. Like so bad. I've been, I had a dream about it last night. That's how bad this is, but it's like sick. The, yeah. The yeah. thought, of, the thought of having to go in and deal with these people is so just mentally taxing that I'm just, I, I feel, I feel like a, like I have PTSD from dealing with these people. I feel like I need to go to a psych and get some kind of official diagnosis yeah. so I can sue some big car dealer for mentally un, like irreparably harming me mentally. You need to go to the rehab. Or something. Yeah. No, I need to be locked up and you not. Have a, you have a mental, you have a spiritual sickness. Yeah, I need to not be allowed to have access to my own funds. I need, they need to just give me like a three hundred dollar a month debit card that I use to buy food, and that's it. And all my money gets put into the ground. They bury. Hey, it. hey, we forgot to talk about jizz and cum on this episode. I know they're going to be so upset. <laughs> they're going to be so upset. Having we, sex with people. We didn't talk well, about. I guess jizz. what? I quit having sex this past week. I had three shoots. They got all had to get canceled. Yeah, it was, it was a rough. It was week. the first one. I I booked the scene at this ho Holiday Inn. God, it's bad. It's bad. <laughs> it was so bad, bro. Because I thought I could get away with like, because I didn't. I forgot about the scene, and then last minute I thought, well, I'll book something that's close by and not like a nice hotel. And they were just they were literally sawing, chainsawing metal 
the building and like they were yeah. disassembling the Holiday Inn as we were trying to make a jizz video. Yeah, so I had to cancel that. The lady was very nice. And I'll probably I'll book her. I have a booked again pretty soon. And the next day, I don't know what was going on, but I was in, a, in quite a tizzy. Yeah. I was very stressed out about some, some things. Yeah. And we get down there and like, they're waiting like 15 minutes. The girl's not there yet. And I'm like, oh, I hope she doesn't show up. <laughs> I don't feel like filming anything. And and then it was like 40, we had like 40 minutes and she didn't show up. And then we just left. It's great. <laughs> Which I wasn't upset about. But then I found out apparently she went to a different door and then she just left too. And then nobody called the agent or anything. And then, and then Friday, there was a chick who was really hot, 20, and she just absolutely did not want to be on set. She was just kind of, she was kind of sitting there on her phone, which is fine. But like, I, you know, I try to make a little bit of small talk, you know, where are you from? How you doing? How the filming been going? You know, just like a little bit of, yeah. Build a little bit of rapport. Some. Cause like, I'm like a decent person. I'm trying to make good videos that feel a certain way. I'm not tying people up and torturing them with my penis. Like I know you, some people think that they think that's what I do for work. I, it's not what my videos are. Yeah. You have to kind of at least be able to pretend you kind of want to be there a little bit, just a little bit. I don't five percent. Five percent. And then these fat women on TikTok think that because I cancel a shoot because a girl is being disrespectful to me that that like I need women to like tell me how amazing I am and like bow down to me and fucking. It's just like that's never I just, how it works. I just want a woman to to not with every aspect of her body language and what she says to me disrespect me. That's all. I just want to be treated with like a little bit of respect. No. The same way that I treat other people with respect. Why do you do that? Don't do that. Asking I should. Way too much. Asking for way too much. And then the other half of people are fucking like old, old fucking boomers on TikTok being like, you should have just hate fuck that bitch. <laughs> you should have just <laughs> strapped Christ. it down and fucking just fucking just took it to pound town. It's like, bro, that's not what my videos are like. I, it's not like that. Well, you try and run an ethical business. Yes. That's yeah, really. The, that's the point of it. I run the most ethical biz- business in all of South Florida, guaranteed. Pro- honestly. Yeah. And I do porn. Just let that sink in. Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a moment of silence for South Florida. <sighs> oh, my God. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know. I just, but this girl Friday, she was just, she was really hot. I was trying, and I wanted to try to film it, but I just knew, like, she was going to, like, just blank stare at me and be like. Yeah. Start texting in the middle of the, so I was just like, I, I was like, I can't, I can just tell you don't want to be here. And, I, and you know, you know, cause she did. Cause a lot of times our setup, me and Nick's setup is very simple, very rustic. Yeah. Because I'm trying to make, I want to have a good life. Nick would like to have a good life. His life's still pretty bad. It's horrible, but I'm trying, but I don't want it to be worse than it already is. Yeah. So we work, we, we move light. Okay. We're like seal team six, but like the expeditionary unit that they send out before, like we're real light. Yeah. Operators. We're not got a lot of equipment. Yeah. Got a little handy. Camera. We're the ones where they, they burned our fingerprints off with acid. So yeah. They can't de- yeah. We're not even still teaching, We're like the guys that don't even have a, we just got big beards and like we wear just regular clothes. And yeah. And our, co- <laughs> and our code names are like chief and Skyhawk. Yeah. I got a thing of C4 in my fucking, in my, my cargo shorts and I just strap it to something. Then we get the fuck out of it. And we leave and we're done. Yeah. And it's yeah. good. But it's like, that's why I just, my shoots are really quick. They're easy. But because we don't have fucking 10 people on set and giant lights and, and aren't keeping girls on set for 10 hours, there's a certain amount of women that I film with that do not have any respect for us because of that. Yeah. Because we're not like torturing them on set and making them be there for 12 hours and paying them less money and like putting in them in makeup chairs for two hours. And yeah, because I'm just like, Hey, what's up? We're going to do a little video. There's a certain amount of women that are just like, Ew, gross. Yeah. Who are you? Well, because it's not a big. It's, 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 <laughs> when it's like in reality, the the stupid jizz video that's eighteen minutes long that you'll film with me will be the best thing you've ever done. Yeah. In your adult video career, most, almost I mean, guaranteed. Oh yeah, I mean most likely. Yeah, I mean mo- most likely. I get a little frustrated sometimes. So that's why when it's like if you don't, can, and I don't even need much. I just need to be like, hey, how's it going? Cool. What? What? Okay, and I'm like, okay, so we're doing this kind of thing, and you're like, oh, cool, like that's all. Oh, yeah, I just that's, that's like that, and that's it. I don't, yeah. If you can't at least give me like just a little bit of like, this is gonna be, uh, uh, this is gonna be fun or something. Yeah. Or like I'm okay with being here. 
Well, because that's the if thing. you can't give me that, then I'm just like, well, I don't want to even. I'm not pulling my penis out. I'm not touching you. Like, I'm, d- please leave. And we didn't. And yeah. we, we we gave her a nice check for a, a kill fee for canceling the shoot, and then yeah. we proceeded to go home and get hit by the most horrendous three o'clock traffic you've ever seen. <laughs> in Fort Lauderdale. I mean, Jesus Christ, it was fucking horrendous. We met this guy. Well, I've, I've known him for years. Um, last night, and uh, also supercar owner. Yeah. Um. Yeah, you know, a member of a uh, 12 step program, but he was saying that he spent a lot of time out in LA. He's super based supercar owner guy. Cause he's got like a, a Lambo and a Ferrari and that's his only car. Yeah. And then sometimes he doesn't even drive him for like six months. Like he's just traveling. He's in Europe. He is in LA. How whatever. do I become him? Dude, you can't. He's, yeah. he's just, no, a, he's, man. yeah, he's just a master of his own yeah. universe, yeah. man. But he was telling me last, like last night that, uh, it, South Florida, the traffic's worse now than LA. He said officially to him, it's worse down here than it is. Really? Yeah, Holy crazy, shit! Crazy, right? That's a that's a statement because LA is like known for yeah, the yeah. most horrific traffic. A, it, it makes sense to me because it's like this: we got the hottest real estate market down here still. Like all the, you know. Yeah, that's true. But all the nightmares are here, my friend. <laughs> yeah, dude, it's cr- bro. Because I love it. They walk among us. Bro, because even like out where we live, it's like a little bit more suburban, a little bit more chill. And like, dude, like three, four, five years ago, it was empty out here. Yeah. Like you could go yeah. anywhere. It wouldn't take you that long. It was chill. I loved it. Now, dude, for me to go from your house to Chick-fil-A, which is like eight miles, I feel like Mad Max, Fury Road, Transformers, Return of the Dark Knight, and like the Batman movie all combined into one as I'm like having to almost crash my car to get around. You know what I mean? It, it, it's insane. Like how how many people have moved down here over the past like two three years is is nuts. And it's great because like everybody's on their phones, everybody's on fentanyl. Everyone's a hundred years old. Yeah, and they're old. It's yeah. Like, it's, it's like, dude, I'll be driving on the road and it's like a forty five miles an hour speed limit, and there's someone in like a Mazda three doing twenty five, and it's like I immediately I don't even I immediately know it's someone who is eighty five years old. Yeah, and they're this close. Their literally faces pressed into the windshield over their steering wheel and they can't see a fucking thing. It's good. And it's like, when is, when is Elon going to make the, the, the self-driving taxi service? So these people don't have to drive anymore. When is that coming? I, no joke. I can't wait for one of those self-driving like pod Tesla things to just literally drive right into one of my supercars. <laughs> oh, it, it will. No, it will. <laughs> it will. Yeah, no, it will. And you'll, and you'll be happy about it. I will. I love Cause it. you'll get out of your car and you'll be like, what the, and then the Autobots will gun you down. And you'll be dead in the road. <laughs> and then guess what? You don't want to need the cars anymore. That's true. I'll be free. But I would, I would gladly pay taxes to so, for some kind of taxi service for older people for them to be driven around wherever they want, whenever they want. Well, your taxes are going to go to Ukraine. You're going to like it. I know. And I do <laughs> like it. I like freedom. I like uh, Zelensky. He's, I have a big picture of him in my room. Yeah. He's a gorgeous man. He's a real Chad. Yeah. He is handsome. I will say he's like a handsome Eastern European devil he's got the nice like five o'clock even with the, sh- the five o'clock shadow beard yeah he shows up in the fatigues i mean he's a stu- he's a stud he's an absolute i could see a lot of a lot of women being like "Ooh!" and he did the whole like thing where he's like joe i need i need ammo not a ride when they like offered to evacuate him when they like they first got invaded yeah, that was the smartest big brain thing that he oh did. yeah it was such a chad move yeah, now and now he's gonna live good forever. He's fucking wow! Well, I mean, hopefully, the hundreds of millions of dollars and if and the Russians Netflix don't shows him. and yeah, if he makes it out of this, so hey, guess what? Fun. The whole thing's fake. That's just the whole thing's fake. Okay, we're doing that today. Wow, sure. <laughs> whole thing's fake. I don't know what's going on, but it's all fake. <laughs> Every, I'm everything's fake. Yeah, whole, it's a simulation. Everything's fake. Body. Luke's not even real. Watch a hologram. Like, hit Luke in the yeah. head. It's all holograms. All fake bodies. It's just look. This is not real. Look at this. See, look at this technology. How cool is this? It looks like I'm real. But, you know, it's gotten way too crowded down here, man. Can you guys believe the CIA is paying us to do this podcast? Can you believe that? I, it's wild. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, look, look, look. As long as the wire lands, bro, as long as the wire comes through, you know, we'll, we'll do what we have to do, you know? And uh, this, we should name this one Fresh Out of Langley, this, this fucking episode. Fresh Out of Langley. But... Yeah, I don't know, man. This was at a- least at least we can probably get a couple good good uh, car salesmen, car Cl- dealer clips. clips. Yeah, because people love yeah. getting all. Oh yeah. So some of those might get traction. I hope so. I think they will. <laughs> I think we said a lot of true things, and I, I and they don't like that because they like to pretend like oh our model our business. Because the thing is, man, that's the thing though. Anytime because like a lot of these car dealers have, uh, salesmen have gotten on uh, on TikTok and social media and you know making funny videos or whatever. But when they come and talk sh- like. 
the comments are always almost full. Like people want to skin them alive. Yeah, yeah really. Dude, people. Because they, it's, and it it's, is because it's like they've been hurt. Yeah, and it's got, many it, times. Why it's gotten even worse with COVID. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah like yeah. so After like shit, yeah. Because the thing is, man, is like nowadays, bro, they don't even really need to try and sell a car. Like literally, people come in, and most of the time, they know what they want because you have fucking YouTube reviews. You have fucking other social media, Instagram, TikTok. Yeah, I'm letting some like fucking morbidly obese, old, raging alcoholic fucking like poke me in the chest and like talk to me this front of my face. And I'm paying 65 over yeah. for the car still. Which, because <laughs> the spec was so good. If anyone is. <laughs> and I'm tired. If, if any, I'm, a, I'm an abuse victim. If, if I'm any, an MK Ultra victim <laughs> from these car dealers. If anyone is still watching at this point, this whole thing is my fault because I was not involved in the negotiation. To immediately. I didn't let him. Yeah, I didn't let Nick get like involved because because the thing is though, and I took that abuse, which I never would have normally, except the fact that I just really wanted the car. <laughs> yeah, and I fought back a little bit, but up to the point where I knew that they were going to tell me to go fuck myself and leave because they could because they could because it was yeah because it's South Florida and there's other idiots with money down here. I'm yeah. not the only idiot with money. <laughs> like no, there's thousands of idiots with money. Yeah, you know what I mean, or people that pretend to have money and then they, they pretend well enough to get the car. Yeah, you know what I mean. And I just was, I just was shitting myself and crying and just begging for just a little few morsels. Just please, just give me a little tiny bit more money and I'll do it. No, pig, please. you will buy it. And now. thankfully, they showed me a tiny bit of mercy, and and gave me a little bit of money off enough for me to just. Make be okay a, with a hein, absolutely heinous deal. Make a big money, make <laughs> yeah. a big money mistake. Yeah, me and Luke were in the gift shop at Damn. the Porsche dealer while you were. He was picking out shirts. Yeah, hell yeah. He spent. Let me tell you, he spent one hundred and forty dollars on two shirts, two t-shirts. Yeah. It's the things they have going on well, there. I gotta are, keep the lights on. Uh, yeah. It's it's insane. They gotta pay the fat receptionist. Uh, it's, to it's, do nothing. It's yeah. It's <laughs> insane. They had like four people working in that gift shop. Too. Yeah, they did. And there they, was like there was like barely anything on the walls. Yeah, no, there was nothing in there. There was no one in there. Four people in there. No reason for four people to be in there. Good. But I'm just gonna say though, I love the car. GT3 is great. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, and it's the, the ride's good. Phenomenal. Unless these people tell you that the ride's way too harsh on the new GT3s. They're stupid. I don't know. I mean, it's it's firm, but it's it's good. It's a nice car. I'm. I already ordered an exhaust from Dundon that somehow I was promised is not going to be too autistic. It's going to be bad. And I'm, I'm tuning it. All right. It's going to be tuned. And you guys, a if, you I know, love it's great. Pro provided, provided the, the wires from the federal government keep hitting and we keep doing this podcast, you guys will hear over the next several weeks, uh, the trials and tribulations of Alex Adams and his GT three and his quest to really fucking ruin the car. <laughs> so we'll go through We're that. Going to tastefully modify it. It's going to be fine. <laughs> we'll it's go to the OEM plus. Okay. <laughs> We'll go, we'll go through that 600 wheel horsepower tune stage two done full done and set up, you know, just the OEM plus, you know, and you guys, have the, it's not going to have the crack pipe. So without the crack pipe, it's going to be not that bad. Apparently. I can't believe they apparently that. done and says no drone. So we'll see about and that. They're lying and they are just like every car dealer. They're lying. I'll be on Ren list. I'll be shitting and crying and, and peeing and, and everywhere. And, good rentless is a wrestling with demons dude car forums should be banned because it yeah. just further encourages people to have just make mistakes yeah absolute sick sick fantasies about what they can do to their vehicles you know like there are yeah, there are some things there are some dark some of the bmw forums are very very dark places i mean some of the darkest corners of the, the planet yeah that's true you know what i mean um rentless too because rentless is all is like 90 to 5 percent people that don't have any money to buy a porsche and then the five percent that do just flexing on other people yeah just and kind of, talking down to other yeah to people who can't, stuff, yeah, yeah yeah it's just a toxic hellhole nightmare you know but that's the way i always like because I, I used to spend time i've spent multiple times on rentless and just recently and then before like mclaren forums and you know, and then it, 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 yeah, it's a real, a real cringe fest. Yeah, but bad, the thing bad. is, it's the only kind of place to find really autistic details about a lot of these hot, like hot, different kinds of cars. Yeah, it's from these weird car forums. Yeah, that being like, well, what's this exhaust like, and like, does it have more drone or less drone? Or but the thing is, you can't any of this stuff. You can't really trust anybody's opinion. You can see a few data points and make a decision based on that, and maybe it, it'll be the right one. It could it just as easily be the wrong one. Yeah. Because it's like, and even the thing too with the exhaust setups on these stupid cars, any video you can't really tell. On that, you can't tell what it's going to really be like except in person. Yeah, I don't I care guess. how good the audio recorder. You can't really know what the experience is going to be like until you spent fourteen thousand dollars on the exhaust. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then you got to buy another one. Yeah, I just want to say 
It has been so great to have you here just smoking cigs for an hour. I love it. I love it so <laughs> I'm, much. I'm glad that I'm not like really that into cars. I yeah, like, no, it's I like cars. Because what do you what is what is Luke? What do you drive, Luke? I drive a, a 17 Cayman. Wait, 2019. 2019. Guards red yes. with the Sport Chrono. Black interior. It's, it's a gorgeous car. Sport exhaust. Sport exhaust yes. too. It's a it's a gorgeous car. And Luke is as I've said before. They sound good. Yeah, they do. It's great. I don't want to hear shit about how the fucking no. It sounds real. Sound good no, with, the, with the fucking four banger. No, sounds good. Yeah, no. And Luke is so much smarter than both of us because he. I say that as a GT3 owner, Lamborghini <laughs> Huracan Performante owner, McLaren owner, McLaren 720s with fucking you know autistic exhaust. Yeah, stage two, not her wheel horsepower, yeah. unobtainium yeah. welding <laughs> exhaust. Yeah. But Luke is so much smarter than us because. Luke got his his cool car and he just has kept it now for well over a year yep. and he likes it and he loves it. See, these guys got me in the cars a little bit because I had no I drove a Prius before before based any of this. And I drove it was 2006. You and I based. it was the car I learned how to drive on and I kept it for like six. I drove for like 16, like 16 years old or something when it was when it finally was done. That's what we call good living. Um but uh, this is maybe like 14 or 15. But uh, yeah. And then I got a Porsche. And now your life is. But I, I mean, I watch you guys and it's just, it's the the hell you put yourselves through. Yep. It's for me on the outside, like it's interesting <laughs> and it's entertaining uh, because it's like, like, it's like a little show. Like watching you like, like oil, like wrestling like you're an oil wrestler. These fat, down in the mud. These disgusting fat with, pig thieves. The dude at the, the, the independent salesman. dealer was cr- I mean, it was I was sitting in the side chair. Guy couldn't see me. I'm, I'm behind his little his little dual screen setup. And I'm just I was just laughing because it was like you were just you were yeah. you were fighting for your life in there. Oh yeah. And oh, that's and, what it is. I mean, it was like he's like I a hungry bear. And I can't I'm like imagine, a little, a little, I, I don't understand why you would do that. <laughs> When for you, mentally ill. When you yeah. can just go and like not do that. Do you're like, else. oh, I've got, you know, I've got the money. I'm gonna, you know, buy cash for the car and then just just buy it. Well, look, I'm a you're poor just person. Trying to strand just Well, that's the thing. Well, that's the thing is, you know, me me personally, I'm a poverty person, right? I don't have a ton of money, but I have enough money to make a big mistake, right? Sure. So yes, it's you like do. so it's like I have to go in there. I have to go in there and I have to I'm Little Red Riding Hood, and he's the bear, and I'm covered in honey, and I, and he's just and he is just absolutely starving. He hasn't eaten in months, even though he just sold a car like an hour earlier and stole from someone else. He is just just ravenous for two k too. Just just two k on yeah, that car. Yeah, for two right? yeah two thousand dollars, and that's he, all they're gonna make. Yeah, just two. Of course, so only only you know, only two thousand dollars. That's it. That's o- it. Only two thousand dollars. Only only. So it's like anyone who who doesn't like cars or is like Luke, where you buy a cool car and you're very happy with it. Uh, I personally uh, aspire to be like you, and I salute you, and I will think about you in my thoughts and dreams every night. And my, my greatest dream is to, is to make like a few hundred million dollars and then never enter a car dealership ever again, and just use brokers to go. Yeah, and for just you. use random like people that work for me that like do car stuff. Yeah, the problem is I'll still because the broker will be like, "Hey, they're doing," and I'll get mad. Oh, you, you know scream! I mean? Yeah, but I want to never. Be face to face with a car deal as a car salesman ever again. Yeah, ever. if I make some real money, ever interact with them ever. You know, again. I want to be at the golf course drunk. You know, like you know, uh, ten in the morning. Yeah, and and hear like a buddy of mine talking to somebody else about how he just went to the, the Ferrari dealer last week and saw this new electro nightmare car. And yeah, was excited about it. Put a deposit the down. The Grabale nine hundred. And hear that and be like, Steve's still going to car dealerships. God, yeah. I didn't know he was poor still. I just, I want to, I feel like As wanna, you, if I really can make some real money, I'll never, ever set foot, ever speak to a car salesman, ever. Yeah. I just have so much money that I'll let them steal from me for, and I just, it'll be secondhand and I'll just, I'll just let it go. I don't yeah. think ever deal with these people again. As just, you, as you pull another Michelob Ultra out of the, yeah. and you're like, man, I remember when I used to do that <laughs> big chug and then you get in the, and you get, and then you're drunk driving the golf cart around the, like yeah. a menace and around I the course. The, and hop, in, hop in the electric Pagani <laughs> and crash it into a tree because it's not a good car. And just not worth just get out and just fucking call an Uber. Uh, we'll order another one. <laughs> just leave it on the side of the road. You don't even care. You don't even call anyone. <laughs> yeah, because that's the thing, man. I, you know, I wish I could be happy. I wish I I, I, I want to be happy. I don't want to be like this anymore. 
but there's no, there's no way to fix this. This is going to be forever. That's why I ended up like, I got like a little bit, you know, I wrestled with them a little bit with the GT3 and then I just, just bought it. I'm just like, I'm done with it. I'm I'm, done. I'm, I'm good with cars for a while, I think. Yeah. And, and honestly, man, I'm super happy for you. Bless your heart. I hope you are happy. I hope you don't ever buy another car again. Me too. I hope you're, <laughs> I, I, I'm i willing to. Well. not going to happen. Now. I'm willing to go through all of the, the struggles and provoke for both of us. I will go in and I'll put on my armor and I'll lube up my holes. I feel like probably, man, like I'm, because everything else I want, I could want to replace the stuff I have now with is so much more fucking money. Oh, it's insane. For like 10% better car, 5% yeah, better car. Yeah, yeah. For 10, 20% better cars, like, that I think I'm a good, I think I got a good year, year and a half without getting anything else, replacing anything, I feel like, easy, uh, easily. I hope so, man. I'm rooting for you. I got to get an M3. I don't know how I'm going to get one. <laughs> if I got to, if I got to take it by some other means, I will do that. I promise you people, I will do that. Because it's the legit the best car I've ever driven. I think we call this episode Ultimate Driving Machine. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. That's good. Yeah, we, could, we could do that. And then they just hear us rant about car dealers for 45 minutes, calling them criminals and how they drive mega yachts. And But see, though, you know. I feel like, because part of me is just like, oh, this is too like niche car autism. But like most people can relate to car dealers being complete scum. Yeah. Right no, it's 100% and just relatable. so you guys know, people that like us, degenerates, that somehow got a little bit of money completely agree with you. Eight million percent. Oh yeah, it's even worse than you think. Yeah, no, we will ride. We will ride and die with you. Yeah, it, if you whether you're buying a Corolla, I'll drive my Lamborghini to the fucking car dealership to set it on fire with you. Yeah, <laughs> like, no, hundred percent. Yeah, whether you're whether you're negotiating on a Corolla, I will shit inside the LaFerrari as well, alongside your brother. Comrade. No, we're yeah, we're rolling. <laughs> we will do that. Whether you're buying a Corolla or a Pagani, we will ride with you. We're here to support you in your hatred of these people, and we're here to help you make good and bad decisions. You know what I mean? We're we're here. We're here. We're the we're the anti car dealer support group for people who've been abused by car dealers. We should start like an like a twelve step meeting for that. Yeah, where people we come, we sit around, we just talk about how much we hate them and what they've done to us. And honestly, you could probably get a pretty good community going. Yeah, of people who've been just absolute because there are a lot of people like us who are obsessed with cars. Yeah, who fucking hate car dealers, yeah. and they just they won't say anything about it publicly because they probably don't care enough or it hasn't been done. They haven't been just absolutely completely raw dog hard enough. Mm. You know. But we're here to support you guys. Uh, in the comments, if you're thinking about buying a car, uh, leave it. Let us know what you're going to buy. And maybe we'll talk about it. And then don't buy it. And then <laughs> six just, months at least. Six months at least. For me? Wait six months at least. I not, can't not, do no, that. No, not you. Not okay, you. thank God. You should God. get it right now. Okay, thank you. We should go there right now. Um, let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> Just drop the microphone. Because the spec is great. I didn't think I'd, honestly, when I first saw it, yeah. I was like. Well, they sold that one. It's gone. It's gone? Yeah, they sold it yesterday. I called. Man. I called and they said, you know, he's like, oh, I think I think we sold that one. I'll oh. give him your number anyway. And then I checked today and it was gone. So, but there are a couple other ones. But I'm going to, you know, I feel like there's a big money mistake coming in my future. And I'm I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm, re I'm ready to go. I'm ready. I'm ready to sell my soul to Bank of America on a nice 8%. 84 month car car loan as you should yeah because it'll motivate me to pretend i'm going to make more money that's right that. you know what i mean and i'll start telling people that i do like forex and stuff you know but yeah forex ecom you know how it is the internet but you know this was an episode we're about, about an hour and ten this was a this was something we i've you know. shit man after i, I want to go finance an svj <laughs> with no bluetooth yeah let's go let's go finance the just I just found out last week that Noah Venadors have Bluetooth. Like, they have Bluetooth for calls, but they don't have Bluetooth music. You have Imagine to get, like, that. a weird adapter thing. To Lamborghini, ladies and gentlemen. $800,000 supercar. I would, bro, no, I would. You can't tell me a Venadors are pieces of shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, oh, no, another fast, cancelable dude, moment from Alex Adams on the podcast. I love Lamborghini, man, but what a grifter company, dude. Oh, yeah. No, it's It's insane. How they they well, literally the thing, all of them every car every car manufacturer they're all grifting fucking pieces of shit fucking they, they cry about not I having feel a like, budget to fucking I feel like with Lambo it's just egregious. it's even more yeah, it's, it's really bad. bro they, they but that's the thing too is like I hate Ferrari way more than I like a Lamborghini I hate Ferrari for the most part yeah well because Ferrari is a merch company yeah but it's, like my problem with Lambo man is the Aventador has been out for eleven years yeah. and they've made like seven different they just but put see, a body I kit did, on it. I'm pretty sure though because like the, the the real like the, the three four million dollar Aventadors yeah 
they've got the different, a little bit bigger screen, like the screen from the Huracan Evo. Oh so yeah, you I were think telling those, me about this. I think the new Countach and Science and shit. I think they have Bluetooth music. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we boil it down here. <laughs> you just have to buy you if know, you want a Lamborghini, a V twelve Lamborghini with Bluetooth music. Just spend three, four million dollars and good. Simple as, <laughs> simple as, very simple. You know. So, and if you guys can't afford that, well, you don't deserve Bluetooth. That's if right. you don't have three million dollars, you don't get Bluetooth in your Lamborghini. That's right. Um, and oh, you're or you have to buy a, a V ten little cocklet Lamborghini like I have. Okay. AKA, <laughs> AKA a Volkswagen. Yeah. You buy a Volkswagen product with a with a Lamborghini badge. That's, right. that's why I'm hurricane pilled. Yeah. Hey, look, man, you got Bluetooth. That's why I got Apple CarPlay. You got I Apple don't Car. use it. Yeah, well, was in the, it's in the gauge. Yeah, it's just, it's just in the gauge. Closet. It's the gr- it's gross. Which is <laughs> I don't even know why they did that. It's so weird. But you know, so we're just trying to help everyone. I know we might come off as uh, angry people, and that's because extremely angry. That's because we are filled no, with rage. That's because we're very upset. Um, if you made it to the end of this, you're either as sick as we are, or you're a real fucking trooper, and we pre- and we appreciate it. Uh, please don't say I look like Ethan Klein anymore. <laughs> I already have very low self-esteem and I struggle <laughs> with my image issues. <laughs> and the thing is, is at least Ethan Klein has millions of dollars. Yeah. So he might be kind of gross. Yeah. But he's a very successful person. Yeah. He's a businessman. That's right. And we respect him for that. Yeah. Um, I wish he would work out just because he would be a little healthier and he probably would like that. Um, but please don't compare me to him unless I start selling like multicolored sweatshirts making millions of dollars and having a podcast where I just talk about YouTube drama and stuff, which yeah. is... I respect that. It's, it's a, a good move. grift. It's a it's a good grift. Horny mom wine coolers coming out. Coming out. Seven Elevens near you. Soon. You're look out. Soon. Check out our new flavor. Uh, missed alimony payment. That's our new. I'm gonna, gonna buy a Koenig Zag and I'm gonna have eight Richard Mills on my neck. Yeah. There we go. Next I like, week. I like that. Love you guys. See ya.